success. Got a bit of grief on traffic police. We're only doing their job, but uh, managed to get across the other side of the bridge. Nice quiet roads, this side of the bridge. I tell you what, I hope they open the Humber Bridge soon, right, sooner rather than later. I don't want to be known as the last person to ride across it. Oh, it's great now with this wind behind me, I can tell you. Hardly have to put the effort in. You know, feel a great feeling. You have to keep pedaling. You can just let the wind blow you all the way down the road. I don't think I've ever been around this area at all. 20k to uh, camp now, nearly done. And lots of here. A downhill. I think when it stops, I'm gonna belt it really quickly. Yeah, I'm on the NCN 64. I'm not at the spot where I was planning to, but it is absolutely pissing it down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go sleep underneath the bridge. Good morning. I'm here, I'm okay. Saw it through the night. Just getting my bits and bobs back on, on the bike. So maybe next time I'm out this way, I'm jumping here. From well, Nottinghamshire, all the way through Lincoln, Barney, it's going to be your first stop. Hopefully the butchers are going to be open. From Barney, like I say, through the walls, across the other side to the Lincoln Waterway and find a spot either along there or to Top Home Abbey. As you can see, I've arrived in Skeggy, that's the uh, iconic watchtower on the roundabout. As you can imagine, it's absolutely packed, pretty heaving. Everybody's taken, uh, I refuse to use the word, because the, uh, people use it incorrectly nowadays. It's not a staycation, people holidaying in the UK. I think we're officially in the uh, evening period now, it's just gone five past six, and I'm heading down to Lambrick Bridge. Ten to nine, Saturday evening. What are the many straight roads where you live? I can tell you what, I couldn't do what the Americans do. On all those straight roads, it's boring. What a find. Much better than I thought it would be. Folks, that's it. Tents up. Time to have a good night's sleep. It's going to be a good old ride. Probably get back. Uh, it would be nice if we could get back before midnight. Could do with a nice cup of coffee. Well, here I am at Wyman, Wyman and Windmill. Just about to leave, actually. Just have a full breakfast. As you haven't seen my bike before, uh, missing the cube I'm on today. So I've gone with the Topeak uh, a big saddle bag, so I've got all the bits and bobs in there. The light for later on, that's the Volt Katai 3 at 1300, and loads of foods and everything, and the uh, charger just, well, power bag's just on charge, so I'm going to turn that off now and get going. Another couple of hours left, tops. I'm not quite sure where why I will be as the sun sets. It will definitely be dark. Interesting, feeling good so far. In fact, I'm going quite fast uh, and quite fast all day. I'm just hoping I haven't uh, overcooked here. So I'm west of Lincoln, just gone down Fort on the hill in towards Eagle now, which I'm guessing is not too far from uh, Doddington, the uh, giant store. It's quarter to 10. 25k to go now. And uh, finishing this a lot quicker than I thought. So, it would. another video 
and welcome to the Vale of Beaver for a 200 kilometer Hordax DIY. Good morning. Good morning Paul, how are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm not as fit as you though. Not been riding much, that's my excuse. Richard being Richard, he's carried on riding, hasn't he? Hundreds of miles. So we're just in Croston Corral, or as I, apparently as I call it, Croxton. <clears throat> Losing my voice a bit. This is our route, I told you a few moments ago, 13 hills of beaver. And later in the day, down right there at the bottom of the route, my route, is Tugby. So I'm going to nip there. And there'll be other opportunities that present themselves throughout the day as well. All good so far. That tailwind <laughs> made the most of it. It's gone again. Do you know what I say about cycling computers and environment GPS with elevation? Most of the way it was climb on the stiff bit of it, my Garmin was saying zero, while the uh, total ascent in the field next to it was pushing up ever, ever upwards. What's that all about? Yeah, my ex is just drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> Baby, I should call and say, told you I'd be right. Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing. Baby, baby, this what flying feels like. So I'm heading due south now and that wind, as expected, has gone up. Look on the bright side though. So another five weeks of this and days start getting a little bit longer again. Nearly there. 40 something k to go I think. Less than two hours now. Yeah, being able to keep some nice speed up. Still, the hills will always slow you down. No matter how windy it is. Hello again. <laughs> Not much to see. Thick pea soup. Breakfast time. The sun's finally come out, muck fox cleared. I ain't actually told you what I'm doing today. So, 400 come to ride all together. I did 140 last night. Heading towards Barnard Castle. But before then, I've got Newcastle to enjoy, so hopefully get some footage from the city. Time pedestrian and cyclist tunnel. It's only just been open again recently. Maybe it's been open about eight months a year, something like that. Cyclist tunnel pedestrians. I'll get you lost. Uh, so, we can, <laughs> so we can get back on the bikes now. Yes. Oh, excellent. I lost my flip flops again. This is where uh, Francis Cage is based now, isn't it? So, somewhere up in the northeast. I'm just hoping I've got some of the sights and sound of the city along the route. If not, I'll find some. So I believe that's the Millennium Bridge over there. And the Tyne Bridge. I'm not sure either which is in this route, but uh, how often do you come to Newcastle? So I may well go out my way to pass over at least one of those. Dublin. Big hills have greeted me. God, there's a couple of giant ones earlier. 20%. Tell you what, I can identify a great view. That's it right there. This is what my journey's been all about. Spec savers, Barnard Castle, I've made it. 
Maybe it won't come back. Welcome, folks. So I'm back on the Sonder again. And uh, as you see, we're in this chest mount. I was hoping to get some uh, gnarly action shots. Then I realized I've got all this stuff in here. All you can see is the stove. God, it's pretty gnarly at the moment. Bit of a bride away. It's gonna be really quick on this because I'm getting eaten alive by flies. So this is the spot. You see, well hidden away from the trees and things. So yeah, I've given it a good shake. It's as dry as it's gonna get. Time to get moving. I realised I kept calling it Snakes Pass, it's actually Snake. This will bring me into Lady Bower Reservoir and I'm going to go back off road around the trail. One of my favourite dry horse here in the UK. Oh, that was a good night's sleep. Woo. And just joining a nice breakfast, a cup of coffee. Hello. Oh, hello! Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Hello! Hello there, hello, good morning! Hello! We're here in a few days' time doing a bit of uh, off-road mountain biking. Did I just say off-road mountain biking? Coming from my lips! Barely anybody here! Place to myself! I guess compared to like Peter Street, which is located, it's close to loads of towns and cities. I guess it's, that's why it's a bit quieter around here. It's a bit further away from anything. 100k to go. Whew. I keep thinking and I keep hoping that the rain's gonna stop, but it gets worse. low on water, got a couple more mouthfuls left. I just need to find a town or a small little village. I'm actually eating an apple right now. I uh, found a derelict house which is getting done up with all scaffolding and everything. I thought, I wonder if there's an outdoor tap outside. Eh -eh. But there was an apple tree. So I'll pinch two. <laughs> Welcome to day three of my tour to Wales, summer 2021. Hello.
Round the beach. Round the beach. Check that out. Wow. I feel like I'm in the Canaries. Wow, look at this housing. The end of a ride, or close to the end of the ride. Don't put a long ass climb in there. At the end of this bastard hill is the campsite. Here we are. 10 to 10. Put it at 10 so. John and Jamie are new to the channel. What we're doing today is uh, cycling down to uh, that there London. It's about 180 miles away. So it's going to be a long day. What is it? It's just coming up to five o'clock. Sun's going to make an appearance soon, hopefully. Chris, what? how come we're going 180 miles? It says 143 up there. Is it? Going me right now. I'm crossing over the Lincolnshire Wolds. We're with Louth, not too uh, far behind us. So there's a few hills at first and lots of flat as we head continuously south through the Lincolnshire Fens, Cambridgeshire. Flat, flat, flat. Uh oh. How are both feeling, lads? It's still going. Oh, still going. Yeah. It's about to head off the flat for most of the day, I guess, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's all downhill from here, as you say. So we're coming up to halfway. How do you feeling, Jamie? Feeling good so far. And at this point, it's your longest ride, isn't it? We've just passed 95. Oh yeah, getting near to near to a ton. Ten past eleven in the morning. 26.3 kilometers an hour. So it's about 16.3, I think we yep. I think we said. So great pace. Good going. Good going. Yeah. Perfect conditions. We're not seeing anything of the sun, which is kind of a bit of a blessing, really, because it's kept the temperature down, hasn't it? Yeah. We are just heading through Chatteris and the sun is shining. The weather is sweet, yeah. Just going up out to Wes, apparently that's what it's called. A uh, bit of a park area, a few air bins, that's all it is. Quite steep though. <laughs> oh, can't wait to get somewhere to have something to eat and use the toilets. Finally entering Canary Wharf. So we're here at the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, about to go underneath the, I don't know what it is, the Thames, I guess, isn't it? I don't know what it is, of course I know what it is, it's the River Thames, isn't it? James, all right, yeah? Oh, yeah. This is his first 100 plus mile ride, 180 miles altogether, isn't it? So it's a big jump from 70 to 180. <laughs> Good on you. We've, we've already celebrated a couple of pints, haven't we? So yeah. More pints on the way, that's it. That, that was a pre celebration, yeah. <laughs> Just finishing now and bloody hill at the end. Excellent, we've done it. Probably a good place to end the video. So again, if you've got any comments, questions, head down below. Hey folks, how are we doing? It is Friday afternoon or early evening. It's my first 700 kilometre ride for well, my first 700 kilometre ride ever. My sleep system on top of here on the bike, sleeping mat, BV bag, sleeping bag fleece jacket, something to cut my legs and arms with and got a spare jersey as well in there spare bib shorts, spare pair of socks I tried to keep it relatively lightweight and not bring spare, too many spare clothing Stopped in Southwell uh, BB spot is about 10 miles away so I've just gone to a Chinese chicken chow mein first time I've done this on a ride <laughs> well hello, good morning just having a quick breakfast. I think I've got a couple of hours sleep. 300k today to do. Bit of climbing because I'm gonna be heading to the Peak District. And then 220 tomorrow. Everything away. 
and uh, yeah, get warmed up. Some great views around here, not too far from the Tisterton Trail. Ooh. Moo! Yes. So this is what cycling is all about and I've said it time and time again and other people have said it. Get in the hills, it's the best place to be riding your bike. It's always a challenge at first but it's just so much stuff to look at. If you've never been to Staffordshire before, Derbyshire, you're missing out. Wow. I don't know how well that's coming off on camera. Up ahead is Grindleford. It's a Foggart Lean climb from Foggart all the way up to uh, Surprise Hill. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. 10 to 8 now, so I need to find somewhere in the next hour and a half. Uh, can't always tend to close at 10, don't they? So I'm hoping there's some uh, fall courts or something like that along the route, but Royal Royal Lincolnshire is not a great deal. Should have planned day two a bit better for the evening, I think. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> but the bike pump do not want to work. Well, it does, but it's not very effective. Got Lily Walker from Skegness. She's come in to sort out the tyres. She's got a spare tyre. She's got a trap pump and everything. I may be in a little bit of a rush, but there's always time to take a photo of the world's most gigantic haystack. Wow. That's huge. Anyway, I'm just going along the 18, which has got this brand new cycle in both directions. Oh bloody hell, it's windy. Going up and up and up in this riding. Cycling fanatic ahead. So I've got a crossroads coming up, I'm going straight over towards Dalton, I think, and then left towards Market we Wheaton. I'm tired of this sea post. I think it was in better when I had some sellotape on as well. It lasted a little bit longer. I hate to think how much time I wasted on it. <laughs> I've wasted your time as well, I'll tell you how many times I've wasted my time. Oh, can't jump over. Just going along the beauty that is the King's Causeway. The sea post is doing my head in. <laughs> I'm going. Check me out in the next video. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now. Ta da!